Welcome back to a brand new coffee tech break with Jan. So I think today I got another great video for you and that is about uh, Studio X and G7500 version 3.3. There's not a, like a lot of features in there, but I think the features that are in there is creating the ultimate USB black box. And I will show you why. So this video is mostly uh, to walk you through those different features uh, and uh, also to keep it uh, within a coffee. And in my next video, I will show you some of the specific features, how you can configure it, how does it exactly work, etc. Take a coffee and I will walk you through the 3.3 release. As I said, there's not like a load of new features in there, but I think it's a very important release. As, as I said earlier, it's creating that ultimate USB black box and I will tell you why eh, because it's opened up a lot of use cases and so today in the market what I'm seeing eh, is that you got a lot of options eh, to dial to different uh, uh, conference providers eh, Zoom, Teams etc. Now that's all based on you go native or you go intro eh, and usually it's go either way eh, to dial to those different providers. But what I'm seeing a lot is that customers also like to just use a USB cable. Just give me that USB cable, put it in the laptop, and, and I can just reuse camera, speaker, and mic from that equipment. Now, what has happened in the 3.3 release, we have now the device mode, the USB mode, as a fixed option, so as a conference option. So you can just select that. So First, uh, you could select Teams or Zoom or any other uh, video provider. Uh, and now you also have device mode as a provider. That means uh, normally when you use the device mode and it's running, for example, in the poly mode, after uh, a certain amount of time, like 40, 50 seconds, if you don't use the USB cable or the HDMI cable, uh, it will jump back into the app. Now, what's happening when you put it fixed in device mode, it will stay in device mode. And so you have all the time, 24 hours, you got that USB cable available through your laptop and, and you can down to any conference provider. There's no like interrupt party uh, needed. You don't need to go over a network with the device. Actually, you can even disconnect uh, uh, the network connectivity as it is only needed uh, that you use that USB device in the laptop. So a really interesting use case, which I wanted to share with the UC community. Permanent USB device mode, uh, which is available now. So you walk into the room, as you see here, you put in the USB-A cable into the laptop and on the other side, the HDMI cable, and you're ready to go. Now, what is important is there is also an alternative. Eh? I've seen some customers and partners who wants to have USB-C at the conference table. Of course, that is also a possibility. Eh? But you need to put in then a small hub behind the screen eh? where you put in the USB cable from the Studio X eh? or G7500. You put in the HDMI cable and that is then all combined with one cable going to the table. Of course, there are a lot of those hubs out there. And so we as Poly uh, don't really provide any uh, devices for that. So this is why, uh, as I mentioned here, this is something which is supported by a partner uh, or uh, as a customer. Just test some of those different devices, uh, which one works best. But it is a very powerful use case. And as you can see also here with my system, uh, after a certain amount of time, it goes now back into the poly mode. Now, if we then take it a bit further uh, into the conference rooms, as you see here, you got here that laptop, you're walking in, you put uh, the X50 here on the screen, any provider, you can dial to any provider. It means you only need to select uh, the camera, the speaker and mic into the specific app. And I know, for example, for Teams or for Zoom, if you select that one time, 
usually when you walk in the next time it will automatically, uh, automatically select uh, those uh, different devices as, uh, as it is sort of prioritized in the app so I think this is very very powerful now if you then look at the G7500 <laughs> you get a lot of new options uh, and as you see here I put just all the devices which are out there on the slide because I don't know if you've seen it but in one of the previous releases we also uh, made multiple cameras available now in the device mode the multiple camera support is also there so you can just uh, hook up all sort of different cameras as you see here one using the HDCI for example uh, the uh, Eco Director 2 you got three USB ports available uh, so you can hook up a cube a mini uh, and I can think of all different use cases uh, in medical in education etc where you just want to point it to a specific whiteboard etc so I think this is a really really uh, powerful use case and gives you that flexibility and with the switching camera that is available like if you got a touch screen and uh, you can switch your cameras using the uh, uh, the touch screen UI and uh, to switch uh, cameras that is an uh, that is an option but also if you got TCA you will have the same interface here on the TCA the touch panel on the table and you can also change camera uh, volume uh, switch cameras etc and um, and with some cameras you also can turn on and off uh, the automatic speaker track or you can set some presets etc so you got really some great functionality out there uh, to use with those devices here you see an example so you can imagine uh, if a custom requirement is for the bigger rooms uh, to have that flexibility not uh, dialing out over the network but they want to have that great flexibility by walking in the room and, and using just that cable to the laptop. That's a possibility, even with the Eco Director 2, as you see here. And you just put the G7500 box here behind the screen with an Eco Director 2, and, and it, you just put those cables on the table, and people will have that flexibility. And then you can build like any conference room for any yeah any size uh, because as you see here you can add ceiling mics uh, table mics uh, you can have tc8 on the table or multiple of them uh, uh, although the only thing that it does uh, in the device mode is you can set the volume uh, or you can uh, switch cameras etc that will be uh, an option for tc8 having that additional on the table if uh, if needed this is why I think it is a great new flexible option and again as I said if you're gonna move to any provider in the future and uh, so you're gonna maybe move fixed to zoom or to a starleaf or any other platform you're able to switch to those platforms any time uh, as, uh, as a fixed uh, one and don't forget as uh, some of those providers uh, as I showed you here are also offering device mode there uh, so I know it's available now for zoom and uh, for Starleaf uh, you can switch to uh, device mode so it could be that your main uh, is one of those uh, providers but still you want to be able to break out uh, to this USB mode then that is always an option and uh, so keep that uh, keep that in mind so I think great flexibility of, uh, of any investment you, uh, you are making. Now here you see the same for the X50. So don't forget the X50 also has two and one HDMI in which is used uh, for uh, content for your laptop but you can also use the HDMI, uh, HDMI in for your camera if you want. Uh, so you can define that as a content or as a camera input very very flexible and as you see here you can add really any camera you want uh, to uh, to this and as I know the X50 is limited to cameras uh, but still if you got a use case with maybe a whiteboard on the side or uh, or any other application where you want to put specifically a camera on 
then you have also this flexibility with the X50. So it's only on the G7500, eh, the multiple camera, and on the X50. It's not something on the X30. So keep that in, uh, in mind. Now, also what I can imagine is that you have a monitor at home, like me, eh, and you got that X30 on top, and you want to use that also in that eh, in that USB mode, in the device mode. That is also an option. So even at home for your personal use cases, I think it can be very powerful. And eh, as you just put that USB cable here on the table, eh, you just walk in, you connect it to the laptop, and you got here that great conference experience. And even you can add your headset, eh, so wired or wireless headset, is also a possibility to those devices. So all the functionality is there. Eh? So I didn't talk about speaker track yet or group track, but all those automatic functions like noise block, speaker track, group track, etc. Everything is there. Eh? So nothing is uh, limited eh? besides just using the codec. So the codec internally is turned off. Eh? So you cannot use any dialing functionality. It could be visible in the web UI, but it doesn't do anything in the device mode. It's really limited to using that USB cable, using that HDMI in cable for your ad to share your laptop on the screen, and that's it. So make sure you keep that in mind. And as I said, so the network connectivity is not even needed, but it makes sense eh, to, uh, for example, update or anything. So uh, I would always keep that keep that connect. Now that was specifically to the device mode. Of course, we have also some new features uh, for the specific apps. So first off, the Zoom app. So we added in the tree tree release a brand new uh, Zoom app, the five four version. Eh? And as you can see, we added here Wi-Fi support. So specifically, uh, if you are working from home uh, or you got a flexible setup where you only want to enable uh, the device using the power, uh, I can imagine you can put the X30, X50 uh, on, uh, on a trolley and uh, where you just drive that to your different conference rooms. In that case, you only connect it to the power uh, and uh, you're able to use the system. It's now on the 2.4 GHz uh, and I expect in the next version we'll also have it on the 5 GHz available. Multiple cameras, uh, I keep on pointing out to this uh, because I think it's a very powerful feature. When you're using this device in the native zoom mode, uh, you can hook up multiple cameras uh, and you can switch between them on the zoom interface. Now also, what is a nice one is you have now TCA, so your touch panel is also automatically being updated by the Zoom device management, which is now a whole part of that management, that cloud management portal. So that is good to know, so that it stays in sync with your X3050 or G7500. And I think what is also very nice is that if you use it in the native Zoom mode, I think really powerful. If you got a home office, I think it's really great. I usually uh, have this as my dedicated video conference device uh, and my laptop as my productivity device. And the nice thing is, is you can really focus here on uh, your video conference calls. And on the other side, uh, if you need to do some productivity or some preparation, you can do that on the laptop. And this guy is always available 24 hours a day. Don't have to disconnect uh, 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 cables or anything. It's always available. And this is what I really like. So this could be a really nice setup uh, for your uh, home office. And you can use a touchscreen if you want. It's all supported. Also in the zoom mode, you got this USB mode. Eh? So you can always break out to that USB connectivity and uh, use, for example, Teams on the laptop or Webex eh, or anything else that is required. Uh, and on the other side, if you need uh, the uh, TC8 on your table, uh, that is also a possibility, of course. And also, as you see here, a headset, of course, and uh, you can also use that USB port on the X3050 or G7500 to uh, put in a BT600 dongle 
or a, a wired uh, headset to make sure you can also do your private calls. Eh? So really powerful, a lot of things happening on the, on the Zoom site. Eh? I expect for this year also a lot of new development there. So uh, yeah, look out always for my, uh, for my videos. The Teams app uh, was updated in December, uh, but I think it's always great uh, to highlight those brand new features. Uh, so added the spotlight function, large gallery view. Uh, so you can view now a lot of participants better together. Uh, is available now. The layout uh, is now 3x3 three three, and we got dual screen on the X50. Uh, same thing, uh, so the Teams app is also moving very, very fast. I expect uh, the upcoming weeks uh, also an update to the TC8. Uh, this is a really nice one. Keep my, an eye on my channel as uh, soon as some new versions on uh, the Studio X or G7500 is coming. Uh, I will be here to uh, to give you an update uh, on that. So uh, yeah, I will keep you uh, keep you posted. In case you're using a conference room, uh, you don't want to let users sign in and sign out. Uh, so that's a different now. So the menu has been optimized. So in case you use it in a conference room, the user sign in and sign out is hidden. Uh, in case I use it at home and I sign in with my own uh, personal account it will give you the option to sign out anytime. And so here there's also been some optimization because I remember uh, some partners and, uh, and customers uh, coming to me in the past, uh, especially in those conference rooms, that people were walking in uh, and they were signing out those devices because they thought uh, they need to sign in with a personal account. Now, in this case, uh, this makes sense as you can now hide uh, that, uh, that user sign out if, uh, if needed. From, uh, from the manual. Another update, which I think is really exciting, is from the Starleaf side. Uh, these guys are also running very, very fast. Uh, so as you can see, they added the 1000 ATP re uh, receive uh, for the Starleaf meetings. The dual screen uh, uh, should be available now on the X50 and the G7500. You can also hook up multiple cameras uh, they also added wireless content share, so even if you're not in the meeting, uh, you can share uh, content. And also there's HDI, uh, HID support uh, specifically for the headset to make sure that the controls etc are working. Uh, so that is also uh, available now for the, uh, for the Poly uh, headsets uh, connected to, uh, to, those, uh, to those laptops with specific uh, Starleaf app. So, I will absolutely uh, uh, walk you through Starleaf also in one of the upcoming uh, videos on my channel. Uh, uh, but as I said, I always try to keep it uh, within uh, a coffee break. But uh, yeah, stay tuned as, uh, as Starleaf uh, is on my radar to, uh, to also walk you through that, uh, that out of box uh, experience. Now, further, uh, what has been added uh, so you can now disable the Polycom content app. Uh, I remember uh, some people were using that on the laptop. Now you're able to disable that uh, if you uh, want to uh, make sure that people uh, cannot connect to those uh, those devices anymore to share content. That was a small program, uh, the Polycom Poly content app. Uh, it's a very small program for Mac and for Windows and you were able to connect to those conference rooms uh, and, and then share a presentation from the laptop. Now, that was always enabled, so now you can disable that. Uh, but this is something I will also show in the next video. I want to walk you through all those specific uh, settings. Now also you can change the light bar. So in the X50 and the X30 you can change the light bar uh, and change the brightness of that. And we got some, uh, yeah, some uh, enhancements on the network side, the VLAN, LDP, etc. So that is really uh, a good one for uh, for our uh, yeah, security uh, aware customers. Now that was the 3.3 update. Hopefully you understand now uh, the ultimate USB 
black box mode, uh, I think really a great feature uh, and to get uh, customers quickly started where they don't know at the moment uh, which platform uh, they uh, want to use and they don't want to hurdle with uh, interrupt platforms etc. Uh, I think a very flexible way to get uh, started quickly and uh, in the future uh, as I said you can always put the device into for example fixed in the zoom mode or star leaf mode uh, and then you can always break out to that USB mode eh, as an alternative. So then your main platform eh, is one of those apps, but still you can break out to those, uh, to those other platforms is needed from the laptop side. I think a very powerful use case. Now, if you have any questions, eh, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'm already looking forward to, uh, to the next uh, video eh, to, uh, to see you again.